Hey everyone, it's Ranger Angelina and Pretty Girl. She just has to contribute. She thinks I'm talking to her. So Pretty Girl is our barred owl and she's a fan favorite. And if you can see, she's vibrating her throat muscles there. What she's doing is called guler fluttering and you can really see it. So it's a hot day. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating, right? I'm a mammal. And so my body automatically knows uh, how to deal with the heat. And so I'm sweating, I'm panting, um, I'm taking time to drink more water. And birds do this thing called guler fluttering. So what she's doing is rapidly vibrating her tissues and it's allowing for that air exchange. So she's moving hot and cold air back and forth and trying to cool off her body. And birds are endothermic like us, so they create their own body heat, unlike other reptiles like uh, turtles and snakes, which are ectothermic, they have to receive their heat from the outside. Other birds do still do things like thermoregulate. Um, she does it, but also the birds you commonly think of are like double-crested cormorants that you see or anhingas out sunning and um, taking in the sun's rays. So they're expanding their overall surface area and allowing the sun's rays to heat them up. So this is, she's giving us some really good views. And so uh, our coyote will pant, you know, a lot of other mammals don't sweat like humans do but they have other adaptations that they use to naturally cool or warm themselves. So Wiley has shed his winter fur and he has a really thin summer layer now, as does Roxy, our red fox. And the birds do molt, but you can't tell a significance in their feathering necessarily. Uh, on certain birds, you can tell a difference in overall body fat, pre-migration and post-migration. It costs more energy to migrate, but um, they need that fat built up for the energy, but they don't want too much fat because then they're heavier. But with Pretty Girl and Taurus here uh, residing year round in the nature center, you don't see a lot of buildup of fat or feathers, but they're definitely losing a lot of feathers right now. So her mouth beak is open and she is fluttering like crazy. So it's a friendly reminder that not only are you feeling hot this time of year, did I mention it's a little toasty outside? But your animals are as well. So if you're a backyard birder or you have some different animals around, uh, change out some water daily. So you don't want it to be too stagnant and attract mosquitoes or other potential vectors of disease or insects that lay eggs in water. But you do want to change it out for animals like your backyard songbirds, if you have raccoons, armadillos, possums that visit your yard. We here at the Nature Center take special effort to change out that water daily. Keep it cool and fresh. You don't want it warm and have algae and bacteria growing in it. And I just think this is so cool. You might not know what it is when you see birds doing it, but Pretty Girl, because of her size and the way that her beautiful feathers lay, it's really apparent when she's doing her guler fluttering. What do you think, Pretty Girl? So please stay safe, drink lots of water, take time in the shade, and take care of yourself this July 4th weekend, especially in the Oklahoma heat.